It's being seen as the biggest threat to peace in Bosnia so far. The midnight deadline for the Croats to end their boycott of Mostar City Council passed without resolution. Talks had failed. The streets in Mostar are quiet now, but those implementing the peace accord fear this stalemate could undo all the good that has been done. That if we failed to achieve agreement on the joint action, the only people who will be drinking champagne will be the thugs, the gangs and the criminals. The Mostar elections were also seen as a key test of the Bosnia-wide vote in September. Now the European Union is threatening to leave, an option many residents fear. He says if Mostar remains a divided town, there will be new fighting, new war. In Belgrade, the tragedy of war was being remembered. A memorial service was held to mark the first anniversary of the fall of the Serb-held enclave of Krajina. Croatian troops overran the region after four years of bitter fighting. 250,000 Krajina Serbs left, leaving many dead in their wake. A year later, these refugees are still facing an uncertain future. Most are living in collective centers in Serbia. They dare not go back home yet. Their only hope is that the Dayton Peace Accord will succeed and all the local factions will agree to cross the divide between Croat, Serb and Muslim, widened by years of war and misery. No.